creeks overflowing, causing neighbors in some communities to evacuate and water rescue teams to help rescue people from their homes. Many roads are also shut down as water and debris cover the roadway. WENY's Leanne DeRosa is live in Nichols, which is just one of many areas hit by flash flooding in the middle of the night. Leanne, what's going on? Hi, Cody. I'm on Route 282, which turns into Route 187 at the state line, which is just south of me. Now, behind me, you can see the bridge is closed. This is the bridge over Wapasening Creek, and that water underneath that bridge is rushing. So this bridge has been closed pretty much for structural reasons. Now, we took a walk down there earlier. We have been pushed back now. Let's give you a look at what we saw earlier. It's a mess, to be honest with you. Debris completely covers the bridge logs, branches, garbage. Now the water has receded. It's no longer covering the bridge, but it is powerful underneath, rushing underneath that bridge. And crews said they're afraid that bridge is going to wash out, which actually happened during the flood in 2011, a few years ago. Now, beyond this bridge, down into the northern tier in Pennsylvania, we've, getting, we've been getting reports of a lot of evacuations, um, home rescues. We spoke with one woman who was rescued from her car. Once the water was kind of receded a little bit, she said the fire department was able to get to her. Um, and here's what she said from her experience. It's awful, absolutely awful. I used to live in Barton and I, I've never seen anything this bad. <laughs> Did it happen quickly? Yes, very quickly. Actually, I'll save this. And now she was stuck in Wyndham Township, where we've been getting reports of a lot of rescues happening. And she's trying to make it home to Stevensville, PA. She said she's going to take the long route and hope to get there and not hit too many road closures. Uh, now, before we go, I do want to show you something cool that we did come across while we were out walking on that bridge and inspecting some of the debris. Take a look at this a bald eagle sitting on a log, just absolutely beautiful, calm, pristine, kind of like a diamond in the rough in all the middle of this debris. Uh, so that was a cool sight. We were able to get pretty close to it without scaring him off. Now crews are inspecting these bridges and many of the local roads. So reminder, if you do come to a road closure, don't pass it. Even if there's no water over the bridge, there might be structural damage that you can't see. So now we have plenty more coverage coming up throughout Good Morning Twin Tears. For now, live in Nichols, Leanne DeRosa, WENY News. Back to you, Cody. All right, thanks, Leanne, and we will check in with Leanne in a little bit. Meanwhile, the Finger Lakes region could be named a National Heritage Area. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and Congressman Tom Reed are scheduled to appear in Watkins Glen this 